Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well we're using the great Divi Supreme Pro modules today and we're going to show you how to create a pop-up modal or basically a pop-up anything you want using the great Divi Supreme. So we've got a section here, got a little image there that grows when you hover on it. When I click on it, it's going to pop up a section. And there it is. Really easy to do. If I roll down a bit, all I've done is save this section right here and we're popping that one up. So let's get started. If we go to our dashboard here, like I say, you've got to have Divi Supreme Pro installed and activated to use this today. If you need it, have a look at the link below the video, you can get it from there. So if we go into Divi Supreme Pro, to do this today, you want to make sure you've got enabled Divi pop-up switched on. So we're in the dashboard, Divi Supreme Pro, general settings. Just make sure that's purple like that, or over to the right hand side, save your changes, and we're good to go. Okay, well I've got a just one of their free layouts here. So what I'll do is I'll save this section right here and we'll, look, we'll load it as a modal. You can create whatever you want. You can create a brand new section or a row or just a module. You can pop up just about anything you want. So let's enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. Once enabled, you can either, like I say, build your own section or go to wherever it is you want to pop up. I'll use this demo too right here. I'm going to save it to the library. Now, like I said earlier, you can do this with a section, you can do it with a row, you can do it with a single module, whatever it is you want to pop up. So I'm going to save this to the library, little round icon just to the left of the trash can there. Left click, give it a name. I'll call it modal, modal 1. It doesn't matter what you call it, just as long as it makes sense to you and you can find it in your library. Save it to our, our library. Now once it's saved in our library, I've got to refresh this page so it'll show up and we can find it. So let's save a draft and refresh the page. Now we refresh, you want to decide what you want to use to pop it up. In the last one, I just used this image of a little play button there. You can use any module you want because this will work on any module. For instance, if I go into this text module here or blurb module, whatever it is, Go over to the advanced, if we go down to visibility, roll down a bit, you'll see a little switch that says use pop-up. Now that's only going to be there if you've enabled Divi pop-up in that first step there, so make sure you've done that. I'm not going to use that, but I'm just demonstrating you can use anything you want to pop this up. I'm going to actually use this button here. So let's go into the button itself. And we'll do the same thing over to advanced and visibility. Scroll on down. There it is, use pop up. What do we want to pop up? We want to pop up that layout that we saved. There's other options for videos and iframes and images. But we want to pop up that whole layout. Demo 2, I think it was. Now you can select what you want from your library as we've selected layout up there. And it should be down the bottom, bottom that modal one. There it is right there. Great. Want it to trigger on the module click. For this particular one, as we're using a button module, we could have it on button click would work. Either of those two would work fine. Just move this over. Now, when they click anywhere outside, it's going to close it. And there's also a close button. You can select just to use the button if you want to use that instead. Don't want to use auto close if you select that you can put a time in where it'll actually close after a certain period of time that you put in if you've got all kind of entrance and exit animations i'm going to leave mine just as they are want it to be absolute want it to stay where it is when we pop up if they scroll don't want it to be moving around I'm not going to use full width if i use full width it will cover the whole screen including the header and the footer 
By default, it's going to show an overlay like a light box effect that darkens out the background so you're focusing on whatever it is popping up. You can choose a background color there if you want to. It's going to show a close button unless you turn that off. And it's going to be inside. Obviously, you can put it outside if you want to. Now, the close button is just an X icon, which is pretty standard for closing things. But you can choose any of these elegant themes icons here. And you can choose a size by sliding that up and down, typing or incrementing with the little arrows on the right. OK, you can give it a background color, your trigger if you want to. I'm going to leave mine all just as it is. And we should be good to go. So let's save this. We'll save our changes. Save draft or publish. And exit Visual Builder. Now if I roll down here, when I click on this button down here, it's going to pop up this whole section right here. But it's going to be 680, which is the default width for that. You can change it and you can change it on a tablet and mobile have different versions if you want but I've left it on 680 so it's going to pop up right in the middle here so let's click it and there it is that's absolutely great click on the little X to close it or if you click anywhere outside of it as you can see it's got that background sort of light box effect it's going to close too and that's a wonderful little feature. Like I say, you can pop up anything. You can pop up images. You can pop up whole sections like we've done there. You can pop up single modules, whatever it is you want to pop up. And just to demonstrate further, I'll change the width of this. I'll show you the width. So if you need to on different devices, you can have the size change. So let's enable the Visual Builder quickly again. We'll go down and we'll go to the button where we had the pop up. Over to advanced and visibility. If I go down here, here's the actual max width that we've got set there. Let's set it to say. There. and if it get to the end and it's not wide enough for you you can simply type in whatever value you want by typing anything you want in there okay so we've changed that and if you hit the little if you hover over the dark right in common to most EV modules if you hit the little mobile phone looking thing you can set different sizes for tablet and also for phone Just put in the number, it'll put in the pics for you. When you're happy, save your changes. We'll save our page changes again. Exit the Visual Builder. Go on down to where our pop-up was on this button right here. And as you can see, we've got it 1250 wide now. Now I'm using Google Chrome here, great inspector tools. If I hit the F12, we can demo it on an iPad. As you can see, it's a lot skinnier. Let's say, take a look on our iPhone. There it is on the iPhone. Fantastic. Now one last thing, I'll show you the full screen mode, which will actually cover the whole screen here. So let's go back in. Enable the Visual Builder again. We'll go on down. And again, we'll go back into this module, little cog, over to the Advanced, down to our Visibility. There's our pop-up. This time, I'm going to say Use Full Width, right there. And that will override all the settings we've got in the width there. So let's save this. Again, save the page changes. Exit the Visual Builder. Go on down. Click our little button right here. 
As you can see, this is now filling the whole of the screen. We can't see our menu or footer, and we can't scroll up and down because we've got absolute positioning on. But it's showing us this whole layout here. Then when we click on the close button, it's going to close. So there's three different options for you. And it's a really nice little feature that not having a pop-up modal is one of the things that Divi was actually mi missing. That's one of the things Divi Supreme Pro takes care of. And there's several other extensions. Take a look at our Divi Supreme Pro playlist down below if you want to learn more about it. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.